Welcome, ladies and germs, to week six of the Lost Boy Spring Fest competition. This week's game is what the offspring of Jurassic Park and Contra might look like if they ever hooked up together. It's Dinosaurs for Hire for the Sega Genesis. Or, because the creator of this series was a complete egotistical jerk and demanded his name be in the title sequence, Tom Mason's Dinosaurs for Hire. As you can see, we have three playable characters, Archie the T-Rex, Lorenzo the Triceratops, and Reese the Stegosaurus. I really don't care which of these guys I play as, because they're all as bad as each other, but simply because he has an eye patch and they remind me of my heroine L. Driver from the Kill Bill movies, I'll play as Reese. We start the game with this Godzilla-like Gila monster climbing its way up what appears to be a dam. Uh, for, for copyright reasons, we're not allowed to call them Godzilla. I will, however, act like it is Godzilla, though it isn't. Controls are very simple. A does your close range attack, which in this case is a tail swipe. B shoots your gun. And C jumps. And unfortunately, much like at the end of Donkey Kong Country 1, the developers pull a nasty little prank by giving you a false credit sequence. And you've also got to love how Sega, not missing a trick, have Reese here posed in a nice muscly fashion. We get it, Sega. These dinosaurs are males. Muscly males. Our first stage is the tenement house, and you might notice that the commentary this week is slightly different. That's because this week is Polly Week, and we're doing the commentary Bill O'Reilly style. That's right, we're doing it live. Although I really, really wish we weren't doing it Bill O'Reilly style, because that guy is a chauvinist pig, and no one should aspire to be like him. As I alluded to earlier, the gameplay is quite similar to Contra. You run around and you shoot things, but of course, because it's dinosaurs higher, you play as dinosaurs. But look at the enemies we have to fight here. We have to fight ninjas, guys with flamethrowers, and presumably residents of this tenement block. What's the one thing missing here? Oh, that's right! Women! There isn't a single female enemy, not only in this level, but in this game. Not only that, but there isn't a single female playable character. Also, that pterodactyl that flew in during the sequence, that's male too. What's up with that, Sega? Where's the balance of your game characters? Were you, were you worried that the female characters would upstage the males, was that it? You've got to have balance, goddammit. I know what you're thinking, why would you want to have female enemies? Well again, balance. If there's male enemies, why can't there be women? I mean, surely in real life, if there, were, there was a villainous organization of, say, ninjas and other ne'er-do-wells, surely they'd hire some women to balance the books? Come on! Anyways, we're coming on to the first boss of the game here, the Oppression Cannon. And I swear that's its real name, honest. The cannon is mounted on the wall and just shoots at you. It's not a really tough boss to write home about. It also releases ninjas that jump out of the hole trying to attack you. But the easiness of this boss is not the point. As you can see it goes down in a few shots. But that's not the point. The point is that this boss fight is symptomatic of the game's message that it's trying to send to its players. And also apparently Tom Mason's Dinosaurs for Hire doesn't appreciate speedrunning tactics because the cannon was destroyed, I went down the hole and apparently that counts as dying instead of, you know, great initiative by the player and allowing you to get into the next level sooner. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Sega. I didn't realise that initiative was a, was a bad idea. But as I said, the actual easiness of the boss is irrelevant, because it's symptomatic of the message this game is trying to send to its players. I mean, do I, ha do I have to spell it out for you morons what this game is trying to do? Just look at what's going on. We're being, we are male dinosaurs with guns being chased by male ninjas and male bikers, and a million other male enemies. Do I really have to spell it out any clearer than that? Or can your stupid little pathetic minds finally work out what's going on? I mean, the, the console, the console this game is on, is part of the problem as well. I mean, just take a look at what the console is named. The Sega Genesis. Okay? Genesis. You know, sis. Did you get it yet? Really? Good. I mean, when, when the console was ported over to this country, to Europe and to Britain, we being sensitive fellows who actually respect the fairer sex, we renamed it to the Mega Drive. You know, not a name that is blatantly sexist. 
We're back to the oppression can again, and I've learned my lesson, and I'm not going to fall down the hole this time until the stupid lift comes up to collect the stupid dinosaur, and we can go to the stupid next level. At this point, I really don't care. I'm only playing this game to show you. To show you what a terrible, terrible, terrible example it sets to its players, and why it should never even have been released. So now we're in the second level, the subway, and no doubt we'll find yet more of Tom Mason's terrible imagery of his terrible, terrible message. And indeed, I'm absolutely right, as we see our first enemy of this level, Skater Boys. And that reminds me of that one song, you know, by Avril Lavigne. And I, I take issue with that particular song. I mean, Avril, you really let the side down there, sweetheart, didn't you? I mean, I thought you of all people would have understood. I thought you of all people would have got it. But let's just take it the lyrics of your song, okay? He was a skater boy, she said see you later boy, he wasn't good enough for her? I mean, okay, decent lyrics, but where the hell is the corresponding song where you tell the viewpoint of the woman in the story? You know, where's Skater Girl? Oh, that's right, you never made it. Because apparently you don't get it, despite the fact that you really, really should get it because of who you are. I mean, God damn it, Avril, as I said, you really, really, really let the side down. Also, you actually have a smart bomb move that can actually clear the entire screen, which is done by pressing A, B, and C simultaneously. But I'm not going to do it. And you know why I'm not going to do it? Because I'm only playing this out of protest. That's right. I'm angry. And I'm on my soapbox here. And by the way, these damn drill cars can go suck one. And again, yet more terrible, terrible symbols of terrible, terrible oppression, just like Tom Mason wants to promote with his terrible, terrible game that should never have been released. And no doubt you can't actually see the drivers of these cars, but no doubt they're men. And why are they men? Because they're driving around and they're destroying everything in their path. If there were women in those cars, they'd be driving around carefully at the speed limit and not crashing into everything at every 10 seconds. I'm also guessing those giant roaches, even though it's in t probably impossible to tell their gender, just because this is Tom Mason's dinosaurs for hire, I'm guessing they're male too, as I said. As far as I know, there isn't a single female enemy in this game. And I think that statement just speaks for itself, don't you? I I would really, really just want to quit this right now. But no, no, I have a duty. I have a duty, I have a mission. I have to continue playing through this just to show you just how bad that this gets. Okay, that's my lot in life. For the next 15 minutes, I'm taking you through the warp mind of one Tom Mason. And hopefully, like me, by the time I've finished, you two will be screaming in rage at this injustice. And it's not even that this game is the only example of this. I mean, okay, I think this is possibly the worst offender of this type of message, but it's by no means the only one. I mean, there is a trend, in the early 90s especially, of different series and different video games having multiple playable characters who are all different types of animals, and the one common denominator is that they're all male. I mean, let, let's look at the offenders, shall we? Battle toads, three male toads who like to go around causing havoc and blowing shit up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, four male turtles with different color bandanas who go around with different personalities, but there's no calming female influence, so they're always getting into wacky hijinks and stupid adventures, and it's all their own fault. And don't even make me mention the Street Sharks. Okay, I'm going to have to mention the Street Sharks because I'm just going to have to try and prove my point here. Four slamming gemming to quote the damn toy sharks from the sewer. And again, not a single calming female influence among them. Also, this game, when you get to this point, this is as far as I got in my practice runs. And this is about as far as I expect to get here. Because at this point... The game is just freaking hard, and once again, Sega and Tom Mason trying to push their agenda. They're trying to make the game too hard, so that girls and women will take one look at this and go, you know what, no thanks, this is not for me. There you are, I just game overed. And I would love to just let that timer tick down into oblivion, but I can't, because unfortunately I have to play for at least 10 minutes. I'm going to try and play for at least 15 minutes if possible. But it's getting very hard to do that because I, I'm feeling my rage go up and up and up and up 
the more this continues. But yeah, as I was trying to say earlier, before I was interrupted by getting game over, it's easy to see, if you're in the know like I am, what Sega and Tom Mason were trying to do. They were trying to make their great little run and gun with dinosaur game too hard so that the feminine population of the world would take one look at it and say, you know what, I've got better things to be doing. Whereas the men, and particularly the young boys, will take one look and go, well, I'm not sure about this game, but it has dinosaurs with guns, it has to be awesome, right? No. It does not have to be awesome at all, guys, okay? Jesus Christ, why am I even continuing? Oh yeah, because I have an obligation, that's right. That's right. I mean, let's, let's just examine, shall we, the different personalities of the three dinosaurs for hire. We have Archie the T-Rex, who wears a leather jacket, whose favourite interest is comic books. Yeah, he's really a role model you want in your game, don't you, Sega? Then we have Lorenzo, the Triceratops, who is the stereotypical cool dude of the pack, who likes eating pizza, wearing Hawaiian shirts, and apparently his hair and his chun Lee. Sexist pig. And finally we have the character I'm playing as right now, Reese, the Stegosaurus, who shoots first and asks questions never. His favourite films are the Terminator series. Are these really role models we want in our games, Sega? Why couldn't you have taken a leaf out of games such as, I don't know, Tomb Raider and Perfect Dark, which had a strong female presence in the lead, but certainly in the case of Perfect Dark, also has some female enemies to fight, therefore achieving perfect balance. I mean, good lord, between the dinosaurs for hire and the various enemies and all the guns shooting around, there's more testosterone in this game than in a freaking FA Cup final. I mean, I've just died again, and I could make this much easier for myself just by using the smart bomb destroying everything on the screen. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. No, because I am above that sort of behaviour. I could just blow everything up and use violence to solve everything like a typical bloody male, but no, I am all about tact. I am all about discipline. I am not just going to destroy everything just because I feel like it. I mean, am I the only one that gets what this game is trying to promote? It seems like I am. It's just like I'm banging my head against a bloody brick wall here. But you know what? I'm going to continue harping on, and I'm going to continue preaching my message until it gets through. How do you like that, huh? How do you like that? Then again, maybe I should be grateful that this game didn't include a female character. Because knowing Tom Mason, like I do, he probably would just have included her to be a damsel in distress. A pretty little maiden whose only purpose in the game is to be rescued. Like Princess Peach from the Mario series. Like April O'Neil from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like Zelda from The Legend of Zelda. The list just goes on and on. In fact, it's not just in video games. It's in all walks of life. It's in films. Can you name me a single strong female character from films for the last 30 years? Because all I can think of are people like Princess Leia, like Marion Greenwood from Indiana Jones. You know, just pretty eye candy whose only role, the Bond girls as well, eye candy whose only role is to sit there looking good while the hero struts his masculine stuff, kills a few hundred blokes and saves her. It's not even just films, life in general, real life, the suffragette movement, the inability for women to vote in certain countries, it just goes on and on, it's just like a vicious circle, and it's all down to this one game. If it weren't for Tom Mason, or I like to call him Tom Toolbox, and his misogynist for hire, I'm willing to believe that the world would be a much better place. And you know what, I'm on my last life, and this is it. If I die in this lost life, that's where I'm ending this video. I don't care about the fact that I pledged to do this for 15 minutes. I've just about had my fill of this game. I've just had about enough as I could possibly, possibly take. There are far better things I could be doing, far more productive things I could be doing in my time than sitting here playing a stupid, misogynist game for the stupid, miso misogynist Sega Mega Drive. I refuse to call it the Sega Genesis. We're gonna die to this gun. Yeah, there we go. You know what? I'm so disgusted that I can't play a second more of this. If you'll excuse me, I'm off down the mall to buy some shoes and hang out with the sisterhood. Peace out.